Alright folks, here's a, another little video of a little project that I've been working on for some time. Actually, I haven't done much with it in a while, but it does get a lot of use. So, hey, we'll go over some of the things I've done to it, and hey, maybe I'll give you some idea for your project. Just like some of the others. Uh, believe me, this is not showing off. I don't care about any of that crap. I just, hey, if you need some ideas, maybe this will help. That's what this is all about. Of course, some people see this and probably think, why? You know, I get that. Well, where we live, when properly equipped, this is road legal. With certain restrictions, of course. I'm not going to take this thing on the highway. That would be suicide. But around the neighborhood, around a nearby neighborhood, I can go to a convenience store down the street. I mean, basic stuff. <clears throat> um, so, properly equipped, at least for my area. Our reflectors on the side, slow moving triangle on the back, the big mirror uh, has to have a horn. Uh, this one's down here on the, on the floor. Uh, this steering wheel has a horn button, but the steering column is solid metal with bearings. There's just, I haven't found a good way to run a wire through it yet uh, without constantly chafing it. So I forget it, it's just down there on the floor. Um, now, I didn't paint it, I didn't do the lift, I didn't put the wheels on it. I mean, this was partially done when I got it. Although not well done, I had to make a lot of repairs, but I got it all sorted out and it's pretty good. Um, so I'll just go over some of the things that uh, may, may give you some idea for maybe one of your projects. I mean, this thing has some silly stuff on it. I'm not going to go over so much of that. I mean, fuzzy dice, the full time bicycle horn. And, that's just being silly <laughs> and it gets laughs that's all it's about um, so things that I did manage to, to do so this thing does have stereo in it marine stereo so when you cut power you don't lose all your all your uh, memory and all your settings power switch it's right there turn it on pretty basic and nothing too spectacular about that I did put another motor controller in it because the one that was in here died so there's a controllers for it uh, for uh, speed or regen on, on de deceleration and acceleration and I'll go over the controller in a little bit I, I just I keep the thing unlocked and so I can adjust it on you can adjust it on the fly and I just keep everything maxed out this thing is terribly quick I mean it's offset about 18 20 miles an hour and with the regen the throttle you know, the bottom half of the throttle is go the top half of the throttle is regen so once you learn how that operates, you don't really need to use a brake that much unless you have to do a quick stop or a final stop. Otherwise, you get really slow, it'll just keep rolling. I do have young kids, but two are getting older, so we don't really need this anymore, but I do have seat belts in the back seat. Now, this back seat's very handy. So it does put forward into almost like a little truck bed. I mean, you can, you can get rear seats for golf carts that don't flip but you know what if you can swing it um, get the flip seat I mean that it is it's so handy can't tell you how handy how many times I've used that I still have a little bit of storage underneath I did convert everything to LED lights except the headlights I need to convert those over if those die <coughs> um, let's see what else oh yeah <laughs> yeah this a uh, charge port so I did put in see your standard you know, round 12 volt charge port and a dual USB. And trying to figure out how to mount this, I really didn't have a good spot. So, came up with the box to mount mount this plate onto and cover the wires and hide everything. What's funny about this box is I was looking for obviously a, a plastic box, but electronics boxes can be really expensive, and I couldn't find one. The size I needed. I mean, expensive meaning like twenty, twenty-five, thirty dollars. Like that's no. I didn't even pay that much for this thing. I'm not going to spend that. So this is a one-dollar index card box. I've painted, and if you look carefully, you can see the lid here. So it's painted, glued together, and I yeah. So one dollar. There you go. Or <laughs> uh, of course, standard glove box. This is a standard open. Um, open it would just be open in a golf cart that has a door on it, it keeps everything falling out 
across the other part and you noticed there's a couple of speakers there. But I hid a couple more speakers, no outdoor speakers, here underneath the rear seat. And buried under here is a six inch sub. It, it won't rattle your feelings out of your teeth or anything, but it definitely sounds decent. I mean, and, and loud, en loud enough that you know, you could be pretty annoying if you watch it. And you see there's an additional pigtail I have down here. Get to that. Because the bulk of what's been going on is underneath this seat. It's been hard to do with one hand. Oh, by the way, I did add this strap. So now this seat's a lot easier to remove. I can grab one of the handles and this strap and lift it out. It's a this this made lifting the seat off the off the hinges way easier. And there's amplifier to the stereo. But the main thing is this battery. And it looks a bit of a mess, but it's really not too terrible. Oh, what makes it kind of messy is all my grounds for the 12 volt system come back to this post. So that's why this is a bit of a mess. On a positive post, I didn't have any heavy wire, so I doubled up my uh, 14 gauge, I believe this is. So that's plenty of current for oh, 12 volt. 12 volt's not pulling that much. And to a fuse box labeled. Now, why? So this is a 36 volt cart. These are 6 volt batteries. So most people will run other 12 volt accessories by bridging two batteries, which would be 12 volts. Okay, that's fine. But what happens is it means when you're running your 12 volt accessories, whether you're driving the cart or not, you are drawing power out of two batteries more than you are the rest of the pack. It sends the pack out of balance, and it, it'll, if you do it enough, it'll prematurely kill your main batteries. This is cheap. These are expensive. <laughs> so I want to make these things last as long as possible. Before anybody says anything, yes, I do see that these case, so a couple of cases are swelling a little bit and looks like they might have some electrolyte venting. I do keep these things watered, so I do keep these um, flooded lead acid batteries maintained. And yes, I do know that there's some swelling. I do know that it's about due for these batteries to be replaced. So before anybody comments, hey, you stupid batteries. No, I know. They're, they're on the shopping list. So anyway, all that 12 volt stuff has been brought over to this battery. I was able to fit one down here in this well. So if I remember right, the engine powered carts, the, uh, was it, I think the fuel tank is on that side and the battery is on this side. Of course, engine in the middle. I'm not 100% because obviously I don't have a gas cart. Oh, and for lifting the seat out, you might think, well, how do you can do that with that um, amplifier? Well, if you notice, I have disconnects. It's actually a trailer disconnect, four wires, so I'm able to disconnect the speakers. And I have a disconnect here for power. So I can disconnect and remove it. It's piece cake. So I have to close that, come around the other side. So when I did the controller, a little bit different story here and the original Poseidon original controller kind of died and so I put this one in and actually it's been a really good controller and I replaced the power solenoid too while I got it. It's, uh, this thing has a rewound motor once we get around to that. And I did just put new bushings in the suspension. So if you can see it's that purple painted casing on the motor and uh, it's rewound. I think it's about 50% more power give or take. So this thing has some decent power, but it still had the, the original solenoid in it, so that thing would just get smoking hot. And I did also replace some of the cabling on it. So, oh, a couple other things, just real quick for a wrap up. <laughs> this thing does have just plain white underbody lighting. It's a visibility thing, more safety than trying to show off anything like that. And I also use some License plate LED lights help light up the cup holders and the, and the footwell. And of course that pigtails to charge that battery, so well. Hope y'all get something out of that. Have a good one.